3000 block of Navarre. Uh, temp tag. On all the back window. So I'm Officer Gable with the Oregon Police. The reason I'm stopping you is you're going 55 and this is only a 40 right here. Oh, okay. Um, further down it does turn into 50? So. Oh, okay. I right down there and work out. Oh, you do? Okay. My wallet is down there and my house is literally like a mile down the street. I have okay. my wallet and everything else. I just ran down the street. I'm running out of gas. Oh, I got you. Right now. Okay, I got you. Were you guys drinking anything tonight? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just see this bottle by your feet right here. No, that's empty. That was the right here. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, when was the last time I like, gained marijuana or anything was in the vehicle? Uh, earlier today. Ain't oh, okay. here now. Was, was that in this black bag right here? Nothing, no. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. No, he was going like, like, uh... His car still stinks. I know, dude. <laughs> You think a day would come, they'd like, because I guarantee you that stuff will clean off. Yeah. It's making it smell so bad. Exactly. Dang. Hmm. I was hoping. Because <laughs> he does not take it off? Well, he, yeah. Just for a pursuit for him to just blow you out the water? Yeah. <laughs> so I was taking it off. It's a charger. Uh. Hey, Jared, can you step out and talk to me for a minute? You said you haven't been drinking anything today? Okay, when was the last time you had any, any alcohol? Uh, I, well, earlier. Probably like, I'd probably say like 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, okay. okay. So I can definitely smell it as I was like talking to you on the, the driver's side. And obviously, I could smell some marijuana in the vehicle as well. So I just want to test you, make sure you're good to drive. What, are you willing to perform a couple tests to make sure you're good? No, you don't want to do any tests? Okay. Okay. Um, what's that? What's that? You can call somebody. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm going to have your passenger step out also. And then I'm going to make sure there's nothing else in the vehicle. And then we're going to go from there, okay? And then what was your name? Malaysia. Malaysia. Would you mind stepping out for me also? So you don't have anything on you at all? No. Like no marijuana or nothing like that? No. Okay. I got like an empty marijuana bag, but it's not. Okay. That's no big deal. Okay. It's Um, here, I'm going to have you sit in my car for the rest of this, uh, and then you can, and then ma'am, you're going to sit in his car. You don't got any other weapons on you, Jared? Jared, hold on. You don't got any other weapons on you? Is that your gun in the, in the glove box? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, go ahead and sit down. All right, and you're going to sit in here? You don't got nothing on you? Yep. Might get a weapons under disability out of him. <clears throat> what? Well, if he's drunk, you can smell alcohol on him. What's that? I said if it's if you charge OVI it makes it a felony. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Did you ask him about guns in the car? No, I didn't. Oregon 228 records. <clears throat> 17 for me. Serial numbers. Boy. Copy. Anything? No, it's clean. So it's funny because it must have been on him when I stopped him because he got in the glove box and there was nothing in the glove box whenever, before I asked him out of the car. And then when I did my search, it was locked. And I opened it. Opened it. Oh, the glove box is locked. Yeah. And then I opened it, and then the gun's magically there. All right. So you're not under arrest, okay? Okay. But I'm just gonna read, read you this real quick, all right? Okay. So you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. Okay. So is that gun yours? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you just put it in there before I took you out of the car? No, it was already in there. I mean, I saw you open the glove box and it wasn't in there when I opened it Why right in front of you. you open the glove box? Because you were digging around for the paperwork of the car. I don't know how you didn't see it Because it wasn't sitting on those papers. 
and your glove box was unlocked, and then when I pulled you out of the car, it was locked, right? Obviously, I, I mean, it's... That gun is mine, is registered to me, it's, okay. no, it's not, no, nothing on it or anything Okay, like and that. I, it's not, you're not in trouble just for having it, because... I understand. Uh, unless I, you're I, under just... Me, I know my, I know my rights. Okay, so I, I was just asking, like, why it would be put there after the fact. Like, I don't know if you make, maybe you got nervous or what, what the not deal is me. with that. Okay. I'm, as you can see, I'm perfectly fine. I've been as fine as you pulled okay. me out the car. You guys can grab my phone. I grabbed them back. I ain't. Yeah. And no, I, I'm, issues. I'm not trying to make it an issue. I was just curious about that. No, I can okay. see that too. Y'all being real cool. Exactly. Sure. And I don't even really want to tow the vehicle either. That's why yeah, I'm having I, you be able to park. I and, don't. I, exactly. I, it's a brand new vehicle. I pray you don't. No, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, you just got it. So, okay. thank you. Um, thank you obviously, I smell the odor of alcohol. Your eyes are bloodshot and glassy. I want to. That's because I was smoking earlier. Okay, so I want to offer you a portable breath test to see if you are under the legal limit. Because if you're if you are impaired while having the firearm, then we have a big issue. But if you're if you're confident you're under the legal limit of alcohol, then you're good. Obviously, I'll just write you a citation for the the open container of alcohol, and then we'll be good. Huh? Was that what you were drinking earlier? No. Oh, okay. Is that yours or is that hers? That was hers. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. I'm saying I just grabbed her. Then at best, it won't even be an open can. Yeah, open container. It'd be the citation for the speed. And then obviously, uh, driving under suspension. But how is not a citation for the open container? Because if you're saying if it's hers, then that's hers. But you're obviously the one operating the vehicle. But that's why I'm kind of saying, like, I would rather you be able to dispel me by just taking a PBT and be like, hey, I'm not drunk. I'm not under disability. And then we should be good with that, right? It, it only takes so much to, 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 to hit a test. And that's the thing. That's, that's the tricky thing. That's what people don't tell you. They tell you, like, all right, yeah, come on. They pressure you into taking the test and then it'd be that much over because you know you like you said if you tell somebody you were drinking earlier and then it's still over the limit by point one now you got a case and plus you're a big boy so i doubt yeah. i doubt them alcohol is gonna stay in your system all night yeah so unless you didn't eat anything didn't have a single See, drink of water i haven't ate anything i'll be i'll be smoking and i forget to eat i sort of got and that's the thing you feel me i don't want to do that I, Damn, bro. Well, the PVT so, isn't for weed. The PVT only measures alcohol. It's not. It's not about the weed. It's the point I have an eight, just like you said. If you yeah. don't eat, then it kind of stays. Did you have any water more. at all? No. It ain't. No it's water. Not even the water at the house. We can go there. Like I don't. Man. So, like I said, it's it's gonna be up to you whether or not you want to let me either do some field sobriety tests on you, which are. This is the field sobriety test, like you see on TV, or you can do the PPT. Walking the line and shit, I can do stuff, that easy. That stuff like nothing. that, stuff that's, like follow I can, my finger. Hundred percent, I can do that. Okay, yeah, that, but I'm saying, I'm saying, you talk about blowing a test that, oh, that well, I can't, I but, can't gauge. What, yeah, you see, what I'm saying, I'm a hundred percent not drunk. I can. You can ask me any yeah, questions. Yeah, well, that, that's what I asked you like earlier. No, if you yeah, I 100% do that. I thought you was. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't want you to think because you blow me for something that I'm 0.1 over, 0.2 gotcha. over. You get know what I'm saying? I got you. I just gotta got legally. So, like I said, we only going down the street. Y'all can yeah. follow us everything. I'm not so, on no bullshit. Like I said, I'm so happy that y'all wasn't getting, get in, get up, and mm. get on no bullshit or nothing like that. So, what I want you to do is go ahead and come out and then see the tip of my finger. Yes. Wall you're gonna do what? I feel like I'm doing a wall spot. Are you kind of straining with it? My my thighs, cause I'm an okay. athlete, so it's like okay. Um, I'm gonna stop the test real quick. So how should do? Can I take them off? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Perfect. And then he's gonna back up a little bit. So while he does that, I want you to go ahead and put keep your left foot exactly where it is. With your hands at your sides, just put your right foot heel to toe, hands at your sides, all right? And then I don't want you to, uh, yep, keep your hands down. And then I don't want you to move until I tell you to do otherwise. Yeah, I'm shivering. Boys, I, oh, do you want me to grab the hoodie? No, I can grab the hoodie from your trunk. Sorry, Starting position, right? Okay. One, two, three. And then if I continue, obviously it's kind of screwed up here. So don't eat, step out loud. Keep your hands at your sides. 
and then once you start the test, don't stop until it's complete. Okay, do you have any questions before no. you start? Okay, so at nine, I turn mm -hmm. around. Correct. Cool. I can count all out. Yes. Cool. Okay, you can begin. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Then when I tell you to begin, you're going to lift one of your legs about six inches off the ground, which is about that far. You're going to keep that leg or that yeah, straight out. that foot. Uh, you keep your legs straight. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. So let me just get that timer. I mean, how, oh, how, how long am I coming? It'll be about 30 seconds, but just until I tell you to stop. Okay. You'll just count like we told you, and then we'll tell you to stop. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you can begin whenever you're ready. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021, 1022, 1023, 1024, 1025, 1026. Okay, you can stop. Okay. So I just want you to turn around for me, and I got have you put your hands behind your back, okay? Put your palms together for me. Like, palms like together you're like you're praying. Yep, just like that. And just lift your hands from your body a little bit. Nope, like pull them away from your back a little bit. There you yep. go. Just click that up. All right, I'm actually going to use a second pair of cups, all right? So you're under arrest, okay? It is cold, man. That's why I said that. <laughs> So that's why I was off if you wanted your sweatshirt, man. That right. wouldn't have stopped me. Oh, I'm saying, I'm saying, from being cold. All right, you want to put it's your slides back on? Shivering. All right. All right, I'm gonna have Officer Webb park your car uh, here at Key Bank, okay? So they can't, they can't drive it. Fine with it. Well, I'm fine with them driving. Would you rather yes, have them drive? Yeah, yes. Okay. Do you want to flag yes. them down? Yeah. yeah. All right, and I'm gonna put you back in the car, okay? Do you have, what? What do you want from the car? Just my phones. Your phones. <laughs> Is there another one in there? No. Okay. Y'all gonna hold me tonight and show you in my hoodie. Your hoodie? Yeah, okay, like the, 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 the weave one in your trunk? Okay, I got you. Alright, so we're gonna try and get this done quick, alright? Alright, you can go ahead and step out. Uh, I'm just gonna bring this with you, so once we get inside, I can let, have you put it on. And I'll obviously, like I said, I'll let you use the restroom as soon as another officer gets here. And just keep going a little bit longer. Since you've been super cool with us, I'm going to actually take the cuffs off you now. Just watch your hand, I don't want to scratch you with it. Right. We're going to offer you the breath test. When that time comes, obviously, it's up to you if you want to refuse or not. Um, but either way, we have to offer it to you, all right? Looking at your license, it doesn't look like you've ever been convicted of an OVI before. So, if you refuse to take a, a breath test today, you have a, a mandatory license suspension of one year. If you are, if you take the test and are at or above 0 .08, so it's like the, the blood alcohol level of 0 .08, if you're at or above it with no priors, you'll have a mandatory 90-day license suspension. And if you're under 0 .08, then you won't have any license suspension. Right. Yeah, so it'll, it'll be effective tonight. And then, and then, yeah, it could be possibly dropped once you go to court. He could give you privileges. But, like, there's a mandatory, like, it will be a one-year license suspension from, from tonight if you refuse. But if you submit, then it's 90 days, and that's only if it's over. But if you're under uh, 0 .08, then it's no suspension at all. Then I'm going to start putting info onto this machine. Okay. Oh, it's a pain, trust me.